Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Day nine, Kazakhstan. I'm a little tired. We've been running it ragged here, but we're gonna make we're another day happen. Alihan. We're going to Atrid it's west of Kazakhstan to our newest projects with project with Chevron. All right, and road project, right? A road project. So we're gonna take corporate jet this morning, and then we're gonna do what? A huge helicopter to the oil field Tengiz. Yeah, military helicopter. We're gonna have a ball. You ready, Sergey? No yeah. limit in the distance, no limit in the time. Yeah, that's right. No so I think the important thing you need to understand is what Sergey just said. When you're working with the BI group, there is no limit. I mean, everything is so off the wall and crazy. It's just amazing what they're accomplishing. So essentially, what we've got is a thirty-five billion dollar infrastructure build out for a refinery in port down in Tenge oil fields, which is one of the largest oil fields in the world. And Chevron's doing this project. It's one of the biggest projects in the world. And BI Group is building 22 kilometers of road. That's just one of the phases that they're doing to be able to deliver this refinery and build this refinery. So we're going down there to work with their team who's in the planning stages of building this road. And they're gonna show us all their improvements. We walk through their office and they're doing all kinds of cool improvements from how they route the wires to the projectors to how they manage their wipe off boards to how they're delivering water to the project. So it's 35 kilometers to deliver the water. They brought it down to just a little over two kilometers and saved $180,000. So this is a cool thing about this team is they totally are getting lean. They're very passionate about it. And they're doing things as small as shadowing out their desks and shadowing out how they manage their, their office area to saving $180,000 in the delivery of water. So they're, they're working lean from all aspects and they're very passionate about it. So one of the big things they do is reducing the time of adaptation. So they work 28 days on, 28 days off. They have two engineers, one on, one off. And so by having the engineers' pictures up there, their contact information, people know who occupies this area and who they need to contact at a specific time. As you can see, all their binders have the Chevron uh, signal on it, which tells them whether or not things have been put back correctly. But it goes much deeper than that, because when you open up the binders on the inside, there's a clear glossary that references the tabs on the side so it's very quick to get to the information they're just thinking about all the little details on everything they do the next thing is look at their helmets they keep their earplugs inside their helmets so they're not being lost and then the really cool improvement up with a way to manage all the surveying equipment because they have all the surveying equipment and they need different equipment for different days depending upon the jobs they're doing so they have a a visual control board and then the day before they start to plan what they need for the next day and they put a green pin that indicates what it is they need and then as they pack up they put a red pin on the other side and the red pin tells them they've got it in the truck and they're ready to go so it's a very cool visual management system that they're using because they're thinking lean they're thinking visual standardization simplification improving the qualities reducing the defects these are the key elements to a lean improvement and creating a lean work environment we want to think about that all the time. How do we simplify things? How do we make things so that we don't create a defect? We reduce variation. We're not going back and forth because we forgot things. They totally get these concepts and they're doing it throughout their entire facility. Up into different things, health, safety, environmental concerns, and driving practices. So instead of lumping it all together, they segment it out. So if there's particular information you want to know about the standard practices for driving or for disposing of batteries, or health and safety issues. It's all delineated right there. Then over here, they've got their, ah, you're great, I love it. They've got their first aid kit and who the EMTs are if they ever have an incident. Clearly marked there, they've got their first aid kit. And then this is the emergency shut off, which is down there. So everyone knows where to go to shut everything off. And of course, they've got their pole marked up. They had someone actually hit their head on that. They've got all their binders uh, diagonal. You can see, all the shadowing of all the desks here, everywhere right there. So they've really done a lot of great improvements everywhere in this office, just really making it easier to work. And then they've got their project planning board here, which is really cool. Yeah, this is, you guys are doing a great job. So 22 kilometers of road they're building right here. And these are the different stages they have to go through. And then the red is the problem. And then this is the possible action, the solution, the green right here in this category. And this is who's responsible for it. So they've executed a nice planning board here to make sure everything gets taken care of. So this is a standard in all BI offices everywhere. The four criteria for making an improvement, safety, quality, uh, simplicity, 
and then speed or efficiency, and that is everywhere in every BI office. Every so we completed the tour, and then everyone gathered together, and I gave them a nice talk about lean and gave them an overview on the things I'd seen on other construction sites, other road projects. And then after we completed that, they were very engaged, asked a lot of great questions. We got back in the helicopter, and we flew about an hour down to the actual port so we could see the road project from the air and we could actually see the port that they were building. It was uh, quite an experience to be in a bird this big. This is an MI-8 and this is really something. So I learned so much on this trip. So first of all, this helicopter is about 30 years old. It's one of the most reliable helicopters the Russian has ever built. A very multifunctional, multi-use helicopter. And so what happened was 25 years ago when the Russians left this area, they started the oil wells on fire. And the bottom line is Chevron came in and was able to put this fire out after one year. So Chevron obviously gained a nice foothold, a nice position in the region, a lot of respect. And so Chevron is building this huge port now of $35 billion projects, the biggest project, probably one of the biggest projects in the world, definitely the biggest for Chevron, the biggest oil project in the world. And they're basically building a port to be able to bring in all the parts and components to build a refinery. But in order to do that, they need to build a lot of roads and infrastructure. And the BI is doing that. These are all the different camps along the way. And they're having to carve this road right out of the desert and right out of the sand. So it's a very, very difficult project. You can see these are the very beginning stages of carving out the road and it's just a big open vast desert and it was very warm I love the heat it was great and then we flew back into town where we got on our plane and we flew back to Astana now this is actually one of the most famous rivers for caviar they harvested a lot of caviar out of this river and we had a fantastic time great team the BI group is rocking it with lean and it is so impressive to see the passion and enthusiasm of their people as we teach lean throughout this entire huge organization in beautiful, wonderful Kazakhstan.